with the names we've talked about today, Donkey Kong and GoldenEye, Kirby and Metroid, you might find your game memories sliding into the past. But we're going to close today by throwing you in the other direction, far into the future of gaming. It was Super Mario 64 that first moved us into, into fully rendered game worlds. It was the Wii Remote that got us up off the couch and into a new world of game control. And today, as I mentioned at the outset, we're not just raising the bar, but we're making that bar extend far into the distance. 3D play on Nintendo 3DS is on the way. At CES this year, we started hearing a lot about 3D in your living room. And of course, an initial, in, <laughs> initial investment there is going to run into the thousands. And then there's the fact that nearly there's nothing to watch yet or play on big screen 3D. But maybe, most of all, it's the glasses. <laughs> you know, man, those glasses. And make no mistake, that kind of fashion forward statement doesn't come cheap. Don't be surprised to pay a hefty amount of money for those glasses. And that's for every person in the room. Nobody said it was going to be easy. Well, no one but Nintendo. In fact, we think there's a better way. A solution that lets you take 3D along with you wherever you go. With ample game content available the first day on the market. And maybe, best of all, no glasses. No glasses. <laughs> without the need for special glasses. As you know, Nintendo produced first video game, first 3D video game, 15 years ago. And since then, 3D has been a constant consideration in our other plans. What we searched for was a way to make 3D games a reality, a product for mass market. And Nintendo 3DS is our answer. 
Let me introduce you. Here on this bus, we have installed the 3D depth slider to adjust the 3D effect. You can maximize it, or you can remove the 3D altogether, or you can choose any degree in between, simply by moving the slider. We have also given a lot of thought to the screen itself. Because Nintendo 3DS is a successor to Nintendo DS, it actually, it naturally comes with a touchpad. As we experimented, however, we realized that fingerprints and other smart tools reduce the 3D impact. And so did the decreased transparency of the touch screen itself. In other words, a touch screen and 3D screen do not get along very well. Because of this, we decided to employ a touch screen only on the bottom, just we did for Nintendo DS. And what makes the images so impactful is not just the 3D image, but the nature of the graphics. It's been six years since we launched Nintendo DS. So while we've now added 3D, we've also made improvements to the graphics capability of this hardware itself. Something tells me this alone might cause a lot of enthusiasm in the development community. Next, let's consider control. We've installed what we call the slide app, designed for analog. We've also integrated both a motion sensor and a gyro sensor. I'm really hopeful that, just as with Nintendo DS and Wii, a number of new game ideas will be born to take advantage of these new control mechanisms. Of course, it has compatibility with Nintendo DSi. Nintendo 3DS has a camera too. But look here, there are not one, but two camera lenses on the outside. What this means is you can also take photos and view them in 3D. market device that lets you take and enjoy 3D digital pictures. You may want to try out this function at our booth. And I want to mention one more aspect. Nintendo 3DS is also capable of displaying 3D Hollywood movies. We are not announcing any specific plans this week, but at our booth, you will find demonstrators showing you 3D movie trailers for releases from Disney, Warner Brothers, and DreamWorks. You can see DreamWorks, How to Train Your Dragon, Warner Brothers, Legend of the Guardian, and the Disney's Tango, all played in 3D on Nintendo 3D. To our knowledge, this is the first time any such 3D content has been demonstrated without the need to wear glasses. 